115 countries and 22 international organizations have presented their pavilions at Expo in the capital of Kazakhstan to showcase the essence of future energy. Important events, innovative technologies and the greenest projects in the program Astana Expo 2017. During 9th Conference and Future Energy Forum, influence of green energy on quality of life of people on the planet was discussed. According to experts who took part in the discussion, ubiquitous access to green energy for today is seen as one of the key challenges of modern society. Moreover, the development of alternative energy is also creation of new jobs. For today, this would be essential. The representative of International Organization of Labor was talking about it during this conference. Extreme poverty continues to afflict one billion people around the world. Secondly, the number of the unemployed and the underemployed workers has never been higher. Global unemployment is expected to rise by 3.4 million this year. Thirdly, around the world, there are still 168 million children working in the child labor. Fourthly, only 27 percent of the world population has adequate social security coverage and more than half lack of any coverage at all. Fifthly, gender inequality persists in the global labor market. Sources of clean energy, source of opportunities. This is what absolutely every speaker from Future Energy Forum thinks. Renewable technologies have already reached significant results in economical maturity and competition. Even in developing countries such as Bangladesh, great attention is paid to this. In Bangladesh, 76% of population has kind of access to the conventional grid electricity, where 12% uh, of the population is covered by the renewable energy sources. So uh, right now we have like 3.5% of electricity generated from the renewable sources. So government has a target uh, to you know, provide electricity for all by 2020, 2021 and uh, uh, have a target to generate 10% of the country generation from renewable sources by 2021. The world's biggest program of solar stations for houses is functioning in this country. Today, more than 4 million houses in Bangladesh receive part of electricity from such solar systems. By 2020, the number of such systems must reach 6 million. It's basically a standalone system for a uh, household. Uh, the most popular capacity of the solar home systems in Bangladesh ranges between uh, 20 watt peak to 130 watt peak. Uh, here are some examples like uh, what can be done with this capacity of solar home systems. For example, this 20 watt peak solar home system is just enough to provide you know, three lighting, three lights and one mobile charger and that run for four to five hours a day. This is a very simple technology. A solar panel on the roof connected to a battery through the charge controller and then uh, some appliances at us, uh, connected to this system. Cycle of conferences in Future Energy Forum within the framework of Astana Expo 2017 means a new step in global discussion of overcoming consequences of climate change and new energy sources. Renewable and self-sufficient energy plays a key role in the future self-sufficient development as well as fighting poverty and bringing wealth for citizens that is economic growth and development. As a host country of Expo 2017, Kazakhstan is situated in the center of future energy development. In the conclusion of this forum, there was manifesto of values and principles of Astana Expo 2017 signed.
the problem of child protection as well as attracting them into innovations were raised during the hackathon dedicated to innovations for children in urbanistic world. This event was hosted within framework of International Specialized Expo Exhibition in Astana and was dedicated to search of city solutions. There were many experts from the world of technological innovations and sciences, as well as private, NGO and governmental sectors in Kazakhstan and in other countries that joined the forum, organized by UNICEF and the International University of Information Sciences. Our experts from Europe, USA and Russian Federation, to a great extent, have used their intellectual potential for working with youth, grading their projects that will be presented today. According to Yuri Oksamitny, there is a great attention paid to the development of youth and attracting them to innovations. For example, this hackathon must become an inspiration for young people to utilize their skills for greater good, besides development and creation of innovations. As a result, great prototypes that would help children. Youth, young people in Kazakhstan play an active role. Kazakhstan is a young country and, of course, we directly connect future of the country with activism, professionalism and adherence to youth. Topic of cities, youth in cities, is one of the central themes for us. The participators had to present innovative project solutions for various problems of urban children, ranging from air pollution and safety till transport availability. Mainly, the innovators suggested applications and games directing toward helping children in situation of natural disaster and advices for living in big cities. We have teaching web portal, similar to e-learning, but it will teach not school program per se, but certain skills. Simply put, we got this idea, because we have lots of school venues that could give us knowledge, but not the skills. Let's imagine there could be a natural disaster and participators cannot take any measures. We have already started to develop the product, web portal. We think that in a month it will be ready and we're able to launch it soon. According to a representative of international organization, providing help to children and search for innovations were always the center of their attention. They also stated that they could find an opportunity for investment and development of best and innovative prototypes, either through innovative laboratory UNICEF in Almaty or through global innovative fund UNICEF. UNICEF in Kazakhstan created a laboratory organized by International University of Information Technology in Almaty in 2016. We travel around the world and we try to find entrepreneurs and people who are working with technology and we try to invest in them in a way that can help them grow and expand their companies. We try to do this also to find technology that can have a positive impact on humanity and particularly on the situation of children. The first place in Hackathon was given to Team Insai from Kokshitau that developed mobile application styled in Ethno on three languages. The top three developments include Team Flash with CamCare application as well as 3D Alipe. We present project Kazakhsha 3D Alipe. This is augmented reality for interesting learning of Kazakh language for children. Children face problems with learning from the books. Their interest in books is fading. And we found a solution and right now it is in process of development. We have already launched a prototype. This will be a mobile application and book with augmented reality. Simply put, when one points at the book with camera, there will appear an image. This would be rather interesting for children. According to organizers, they plan to continue to work not only with finalists and winners, but also with those who didn't break into finals. They invited everyone into innovative laboratory of UNICEF that will be situated in Almaty IT University and promise to provide opportunities that will enable to turn their ideas into products.
International Festival of Contemporary Ethnical Music, the Spirit of Tengri, has finished in Astana. This year is their fifth anniversary. Within the framework of the date and hosting international specialized expo exhibition, this project has been presented in the capital. According to authors and organizers of festival, after five years, it became a real unique cultural brand of Kazakhstan. For those who are paying attention to our project, for those who watched and heard our concerts, during three months, understand how much coverage the spirit of Tengri received not only in our country, but also in the world as a whole. Today, this is a national brand that we are very proud of. Undoubtedly, there will be a great number of concerts in the future that we will present. The celebration of music has united hundreds of ethnical groups from more than 30 countries and regions of the world. The spirit of Tengri is aimed at demonstrating ethnical traditions of different states on Kazakh land. At the finale of festival, worldwide renowned composer from Tunisia, Dafer Youssef, has joined us. He is called Musical Prodigy, whose performances are unique in sound and presence of improvisations. Organizers say that it is a great honor for Kazakhstan to host Yusuf. Here we mainly bet on sound of musical instruments, voice, which are main components of musical group and Daffer Yusuf, since almost no one has a vocal range similar to his. Show of Daffer Yusuf is conceptual, and it is also improvisational. Perhaps it is a main soul of live sound, live music, because music is born right now. Dafer Yusuf has come here for the first time, and I think it happened due to hosting Expo exhibition. I think he would not come here otherwise. It is, as we say, a big fortune. I also want to thank our state agencies and artists for today's show to entertain our guests. Dafri Yusuf is playing on national Central Asian instrument Oud. Since 1990, he has lived and worked in Europe. During all the years of artistic work, composer has gained a title of one of the most innovative musicians of last decade. Besides that, according to the critics, singing of Dafri is imbued with aura of spirituality. Musician has issued six albums that got different international awards. In 2016, there was the last one, the one of beauty and odd. That was also partly presented in concert in Energy Hall on Expo. According to Dafer Yusuf, he has brought an unusual program to Astana. It included compositions from several albums. He also gathered artists from different parts of the planet – Turkey, Azerbaijan, Canada, USA and Hungary. I'm happy to be in Astana. Uh, hope we will be back in Almata, because uh, I think Almata is a city where uh, the roots of the whole country is. Uh, feel like uh, in this beautiful theater to play in front of uh, uh, Kazakhi uh, uh, public is very important for me and for the musician. I'm very proud to present this project here. Uh, it was like uh, a mix between uh, the repertoire of uh, 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 Bird's Requiem and also the, my last record, uh, Diwan of Beauty and Odd. Dafri Yusuf is sure that in today's realities, such event as Specialized Exhibition Expo in Astana is essential. This is a unique platform that could unite the world to solve common problems. I believe that uh, our world needs uh, to think about uh, the future for our children, for us also. Uh, and of course, it's for me, I will be one of the first people who really be behind this kind of uh, celebration for, for a better future. So I hope tomorrow we'll have time to check uh, the expo. 
After finishing performance, the musicians got huge applauses. The artists were not left unheeded from the scene until they didn't agree to perform encore. Daffer Yusuf has confessed that he didn't expect such reaction and he was greatly impressed. But the organizers of the Spirit of Tangri told that they planned to make performances in a Astana traditional. Besides that, perhaps this fall there will be ethnical festival that will gather artists from around the world.